All right. I have been using the Wool and Oak Duffel suitcase uh, for three years now. I bought it on Kickstarter in 2017. I've used it on... Actually, the first trip I took on was a cruise ship. And then I took it overseas. I've been on domestic work. I've used it for work, day trips, weekend trips, pretty much everything that you can think of. And so I've had plenty of time to get used to it and actually put it through the ringer, so to speak. And I want you, I want to tell you about my experience with this bag um, over the past three years, who I think it's a good fit for, and if it's worth it, if you should buy it. So a little background, this is the original version of the bag that I got on Kickstarter. And just so you know, like I don't travel a ton. Maybe I travel five to seven times a year by plane. Um, and then I do a lot of family trips, day trips, stuff like that. And I work from home, so I do need a bag to take places when I work. So I was hoping I could use this bag for that. Uh, when I first got the bag, I was super, super excited about it. What I was most excited about was the fact that I could have everything organized. And the fact that it had a couple of compartments in it, I thought was really awesome. And that I could easily get my stuff. And I like, really like crossbody bags. And I thought it would be easier to use than a suitcase. It's small. I can, you know, I can use it not only as a bag to travel with, but I could also use it as a day bag if I took all my clothes out, right? And I can take this bag around. So I thought it would be a perfect bag for all that. And I can't remember what I paid. I think I paid probably around 300 to $400 for it. So the bag is really good quality. Um, I've, I've tossed this thing around, as you can see. The brass hardware is really solid. The leather, leather is actually really good. Uh, and as you can see, there's lots of scuffs, but I like that. I think it gives the bag a lot of character. Um, I actually do leather work, and so I can tell if, if leather is a good quality. And this is really held up pretty well. And as you can see, the inside looks really good. Dude, it looks as good as the day that I bought it. Uh, I love the fabric. Pockets have held up pretty well. And I did lose that little keychain thing. Um, I didn't use that as much anyways. And it's got all these great pockets too, as you can see, like I put books here and charging cables and uh, I get, you know, there's space for pretty much everything, my laptop, and I can easily access everything. I can open up the bag at the top and I have easily have access to the computer, my headphones, everything that I, that I need. So that part of the bag I really love. So this is a really tough bag to travel with. When I say travel with, I mean by plane. Um, it's heavy. Leather is heavy. Uh, but when you fill it up with a laptop, charging cables, iPad, book, dongle, all these doodads, it gets heavy. It gets really heavy. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's probably around 20, 15 to 20 pounds. Um, and that means when you're bringing it on your flight, you, you only have this bag and you're carrying it around the whole time. So uh, I just got back from a trip to Arizona and I had to carry the bag from terminal to terminal for like a mile. It felt like a mile. And Here's the thing is the bag doesn't stay on my shoulder. It's constantly slipping off. When I do put the bag on total full crossbody mode, it swings into my body like a wrecking ball and it's like really hard and super uncomfortable. And so what happens is I ended up carrying it like a briefcase. And because it weighs like 15 to 20 pounds or 25 pounds, um, my arm gets sore <laughs> and, and worn out really quickly. Um, and so I switch it from hand to hand and uh, I might look cool, uh, you know, like I'm carrying a, a briefcase bag or I might look strong, but I'm not very strong. So uh, it, so the final thought on, on the traveling is that it's not a flight bag. It's too hard to carry and it weighs too much. So that brings me to my next point. Well, what is this bag good for then? Um, you know, it's not really an everyday carry bag because it's kind of big, you know, it's a suitcase. It's definitely not a bag you want to be stuck with while walking. It really wears on you, especially over time. Um, so if you're if you're going on a trip and you need to pack a few things and you want to have quick access to the things you need, like computer, iPad, etc., and you're not walking a lot, this would be a good bag. <laughs> okay. The problem for, for me is that there's not many situations like this. If I'm going on a day or two trip with my family, I'm usually packing minimal things. And the only time I'm actually walking with the bag is from the house to the car and then the car to the hotel or my room. And so the question I have to ask myself is, do I need a $300 bag to do this? Uh, no, I don't. It's too, and it's too big for the gym. 
Um, you can't put it in a locker. You can't like fold it up. And you can't leave the bag out because it could get stolen because it's a nice looking bag. Um, and I've taken it to the coffee shop to work. And again, you're walking with, with the bag. And so the bag is just a bit overkill for just a laptop and a charging cable. So my final thoughts, it's a beautiful bag, but functionality and, and with the functionality and the price, it's, it's too much. It's not what I need. If you need a day bag that sits in the car most of the time, uh, and, or if you're on the bus and you're not really walking a lot, or you're in a situation where you do traveling and you want to have an extra pair of clothes, change your clothes, you carry a lot of stuff, um, and you're not walking a lot, but you want to be able to get access to stuff that you need really quickly, then it's a good fit for you. And if you want to look stylish. Um, but I can tell you one thing. On my way back from Arizona, I kept thinking, I am never taking this bag on a flight again. And frankly, I'm not sure when I'm ever going to use it again.